Um, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the nutrition talk for today. We're going to be talking about uh, rethinking your drink. This is uh, a lot of people have goals of, you know, slimming down, losing weight, and just hoping to hang on just a second. This is a super easy way that you can slim down. Um, a lot of people don't realize how many calories they're taking in and what they are drinking. So um, hopefully this is good information for everybody. Um, so let's get started. All right. Um, So today we're talking about um, just making small changes. Um, you know, we at um, CrossFit Throat Nutrition, we feel like um, something as fundamental as nutrition shouldn't be complicated. So um, nutrition is the foundation. This is gonna be the basis of um, making success with um, weight loss, with um, muscle building with excelling in the gym and then also having enough energy left to focus on the rest of your life. So um, according to the CDC, of course, I always try to throw some uh, statistics into all of these presentations. Um, according to the CDC, the prevalence of obesity uh, for 2017 to 2018 was 42% of adults, 19% of children and adolescents. So, um, you know, you may be thinking, well, we're, why we are talking about um, rethinking your drink, but a study that's published in 2020 um, found that just reducing sugar consumption was found to slow down the rate of an increase in obesity. So many studies have found a correlation between increased sugar consumption in what you're drinking and weight gain. Um, so we're just going to look at ways that we can help reconsider what we're taking in. Um, one time I had a, a nutrition client, uh, one of our athletes talked to me about um, all the things that she was doing right. Of course, we always try to look for those um, things that we're doing successfully. She was eating all the right foods, using the plate method that we teach, uh, where you're loading up your plate with non-starchy veggies, um, eating those uh, vibrant, colorful greens and whole grains, lean protein, but we just were not making progress in the direction that she was wanting to. So feeling lost, getting frustrated um, during our meeting. Of course, we always talk about all the amazing things that we're accomplishing. Um, but then we tried to just revisit one of our foundations and that was hydration. What are you drinking all day? So after asking her about um, the different things that she was drinking, we found that um, the, uh, we found the problem and realized that she didn't even understand how many calories she was taking in and how much sugar that she was taking in just in the beverages that she was consuming. So a typical day was starting off with yeah. Starbucks sweetened latte or a frappe, 100% um, apple juice that was offered in the office where she worked. And that was with her morning snack. And then in the afternoon and at dinner, she's having a, a soda. So that's only like four drinks a day. Um, but it adds up in a super sneaky way. So let's put this um, into a visual. So um, we would never grab cubes of sugar and just eat this much sugar at one point in time, hopefully. Um, mm. But when you break it down and you look at it, this is the same as what's in a regular lemonade. Six and a quarter teaspoons. That's like two tablespoons or an eighth of a cup. Um, and then looking at this amount of sugar, 10 and a quarter teaspoons, 
that is almost, um, that's like three and a half tablespoons. That's almost a quarter of a cup. Jeez. And that's one can of soda. And that's a 12 ounce can of soda. That's not um, like getting a drink from Sonic in a big cup. Um, so bringing that into context, the American Heart Association recommends no more than 24 grams of added sugar for women and 36 grams of sugar for men. That's about six teaspoons and nine teaspoons of sugar. Um, that for ladies, that's two tablespoons or one eighth of a cup. And for guys, that's two, um, three tablespoons and about a um, little bit over one eighth of a cup. Um, so that's one lemonade or you know, that one can of cola uh, is enough to cover that whole day's worth of sugar intake. So here's a few more examples, root beer, fruit juice um, in that Starbucks frappe. So no wonder this client was not seeing any results that she wanted. Mm. Right. Um, so one, one study that's analyzed at the USDA sugar and sweetener outlook data that found that the U.S. population is consuming more than 300% of the recommended amount of daily sugar. So based on just a few um, sugar-sweetened beverages that we just showed in the example, it's really easy to see how quickly that can add up to too much sugar. So now that we've identified a problem, we want to talk about um, how can we um, pinpoint where is that sugar coming from in our beverages and what can we do to start decreasing the amount of sugar that we're taking in in what we're drinking as well as diving into um, alcoholic beverages as well. Um, so sugar can be hard to identify in your foods and beverages because it can be found under so many different um, names other than just sugar. So first thing that we're going to look at is how to read a label. So looking at this label in front of us, you can see um, down mm. toward the bottom, you've got sugar and it says 25 grams of sugar. Um, so you want to look at first, what is the serving amount in, um, and that's going to be found at the top of your nutrition. Uh, a lot of times whenever you're getting like a soda or a bottle of juice, it's going to have uh, one bottle or one can is going to be one serving. Um, but sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's sneaky and that like big bottle of juice that you get is actually two servings. So when you drink the entire bottle, you're getting a lot more sugar than you think that you are, even if you're just looking at the amount of sugar that's at the bottom of the label. So um, if you're pouring from a large container, you want to be um, mindful of the amount that you're pouring into a cup that you're drinking from. Um, to find the sugar, you want to also look at the total amount of carbohydrates, um, and that's going to be, it, again, in the bottom section, and that's where you can find also fiber, total sugar, and then added sugars. So as a reminder, added sugars is not just going to be the amount of sugar that's contained, like, mm. for example, in a fruit, but it's sugar that they actually add to um, whatever you're eating or drinking, and that helps to add flavor and it sometimes is for a shelf life. Um, so further looking down on that label, um, you're gonna also be able to look at um, in the ingredients list and there's like 60 different names for a sugar that can be found on um, uh, food labels that's approved for the US. Um, so looking for anything wow. that ends in um, OSE, is going to be different types of sugar. So like fructose, for example, or um, something that has like syrup in the name. And this, that's going to be ways that um, are really sneaky that they add sugar into your um, food or drink that you're taking in. So what options do we have for um, getting drinks but not getting added sugar? The best option is always going to be water. Um, so that can be tap water if it's safe where you're at, bottled water, sparkling water like um, bubbly, LaCroix. There are so many options out there now for that um, flavored sparkling water that has no added um, sugars. But in a day, we should be aiming to drink um, 60 plus ounces of water in a day. So here's three easy steps to get you started with that. Number one, keep a bottle of water with you. Sounds simple, but if you don't have the water with you, you're not going to drink it. 
Um, so carrying a bottle with you, although it sounds simple, um, it's important to just have it in front of you. Uh, tip number two, drink out of a straw. This kind of sounds silly as well, but um, drinking out of a straw has been um, shown to increase the amount of water that we take in. Uh, it's mm. just one of those things that sounds like, wait, that's way too easy, but um, it is effective. Um, and then step number three is gonna be adding flavor to your water. So different options that we have for that. Um, you can add um, different types of citrus fruit. So that's gonna be lime, lemon, oranges to add flavor to your water. Um, you can also add things like fresh mint, um, pairs nicely with lime, uh, cucumber, or even watermelon. Don't be afraid to experiment with the different things that you're adding to your water. So find something that excites you and that way you have a reason to drink your water. Um, and then last, we're gonna talk about alcoholic beverages. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're all on the same page when we're talking about this. A standard drink in the US is gonna contain 15 grams of alcohol, which is gonna be found in 12 mm. ounces of regular beer, five ounces of wine, or one and a half ounces of a distilled spirit, such as vodka or whiskey. So did you know that when you consume alcoholic beverages, that your body actually starts to prioritize the metabolism of the alcohol over protein, carbs, and fat. So what does this mean for you? It means that drinking is an easy way to tell your body to store the calories that you're taking in rather than using it for energy, which that can mm. increase your fat stores in your body. Um, studies also show that alcohol will affect your appetite and your choices. A lot of us already know this. Um, mm. Rather than choosing whole foods that help you to feel better, um, you're going to be more likely to choose foods that are higher in calories or maybe a little more tasty. Uh, a lot of times they are either paired with alcoholic beverages or they are found in the same places that you buy those alcoholic beverages. Um, so we may be saying, well, drinking is fun. And although it is fun, it's important to just be mindful about what you're taking in and be more um, aware of what you're taking in. So here's some options. Um, research is limited, however, um, there are several studies that have found that alcohol intake is correlated with an impairment in your strength, power, and your muscular as well as cardiovascular endurance. So we all yes. know that um, there are changes in your body's hormones and in your immune system, along with an increased rate of dehydration and possible issues with post-exercise muscle growth and recovery, as well as glycogen replenishment. And that's one of the things that we talk a lot about whenever we are um, feeling for recovery is replenishing your glycogen stores because that's going to be super important to help you with recovery. Um, so in short, your workouts are not only going to um, not feel as great, um, but you're also not going to be able to recover as efficiently when you bring alcohol into the mix on a regular basis. So I'm not telling you to 100% give up your alcoholic beverages, um, but you should try to avoid adding sugar into them with things like mixing sodas, juices, or other mixes. And you want to aim to drink um, something simple that's like um, wine, white beer, spirits with water or carbonated water or fruit. Um, and be sure to plan ahead to eat whole foods and drink plenty of water both before and after your alcohol. So last, here's a great rule of thumb, drinking one to one ratio of water with your beverages on a night out. So make sure that you um, you guys can use this uh, infographic. We've posted this this last week on both Facebook and Instagram. So you can save that photo um, to look back at. If you start at the top left of, I guess on Zoom, it's backwards, but top left. <laughs> of this um, infographic and then work your way down to the bottom right. And it's gonna be um, organized according to the amount of sugar that's in these um, alcoholic drinks. So the least amount of sugar is gonna be a dirty martini. And then the most amount of sugar is gonna be a rum runner. It's gonna have 105 mm. grams or 23 Gee. teaspoons. That is crazy. Gee. Wow. So. That is a whole lot of sugar that does not have to be part of your day. Yeah. So through this talk, uh, we have talked about sugar-sweetened beverages, 
how to identify them even with tricky labeling, how to increase your water intake, which is gonna be your best option for um, taking in liquids. And then as well as um, how alcohol is gonna affect your fitness and how to stay mindful whenever you are drinking alcohol. So in other words, we've discussed rethinking your drink. So I wanna thank everybody who's able to join us today. John, what questions do you have for me? Any you know, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just blown away. I never knew that much sugar was in those drinks. That's, that's crazy. It is crazy. And, and I think it's interesting too, the way it affects uh, glycogen uh, yes. re replenishment. That's really, and then, um, and then the whole, and then like where did you, how you store your fat does matter. And I think that's so huge. That was great. I really, this is so informative. Thank you. Yeah, fun time. Yeah. Um, well, we kept this one super short and sweet. Um, I'm going to be posting a couple of polls on um, the Throne Family Group, um, asking everybody kind of what nutrition uh, tips they're wanting, because I'm going to try to release some uh, Instagram reels. Um, so cool. that's awesome. All right. Anything else you want to add? We kind of talked um, two days ago. We got on Facebook Live and we talked about all the different events that are coming up. Do you want to repeat that? Sure. Yeah, we've got, uh, I think, um, really kind of cool. We have a couple people doing the partner up throwdown that CrossFit is doing. They're, they're, they're going to be doing that on Monday. Uh, we've got uh, next week will be Memorial Day Murph. We've got that going on on Saturday and the following Monday. And then uh -huh. we have... <laughs> Do you see think. my dog in the window? I do. That's awesome. <laughs> Good. It's a great silhouette. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, and then the week after that, we have another. It's a great, um, I don't know. I've seen a couple people do it by themselves, and another couple people do it uh, partnered up, either teams of one, two, three, or four. And families are totally recommended, highly encouraged to come along and play. Um, you know, if you've got kids that want to participate in a workout and kind of help you. Um, I know that uh, Nate Master, the Nate Master Memorial is the one that's on June 5th. And it, he was such a, a family guy and he's so in, he was so in tune with, you know, making things fun and enjoyable for everybody. So I'm going to work on some pieces to make sure that we have a good time. Uh, maybe a cookout, maybe see if we can have a balance house for the kids or whatever. I need to make sure we have kids coming anyway. But if we, if we do, then, you know, we'll just have a good time. Uh, should, the weather should be great um and kind of a neat way to kind of come together as a community and uh really like i said before if we could if we pull together some money and we want to throw it at a, at a family who is maybe going through cancer treatments or whatever i have some contacts we can reach out to to determine the needs there and you know pay it forward into the community we'd love to do that again so what anyway is that going to be um i think we'll do it um on that so you got saturday we'll probably go I want to be done by noon so we can have lunch <laughs> as a group if we can. Um, and then, so I guess it would probably be closer to like, we'll probably start warming up at 10 o'clock and it does take about an hour to do the workout. So I think with that being done, we should have, should be, should be a pretty good afternoon, I think, but it's so busy. And I know that June is so tight with high school families and graduation and summer camps and people going on vacation. So I don't want to overburden people with doing this, but I, I if you're Saturday late morning lunchtime is available, it's going to be a great time. All right. Well, I will get this um, video rendered, add it to our YouTube channel. Um, we have like 13 or 14 different um, presentations up there for you guys available for free. Um, we try to do a nutrition talk. Um, I'm trying to shoot for the last Saturday of every month, but this next Saturday, John's going to be a little busy. Yeah. Our son is graduating. Um, but if you guys have any requests as far as um, information that you want covered in one of these nutrition talks, just let me know. I think that this went live on my personal Facebook instead of on the the. Um, CrossFit throne page. So I have to share that. Um, all right. But 
if you guys didn't have any, have any questions for me, um, you can send me an email, nutrition at cfgrown.com, or you can always reach out to us, um, send a message through Messenger on Facebook to um, CrossFit Throne. We're happy to answer your questions and um, we look forward to next month. Great, right. thank you again. All right, have a good day.